Hi, welcome to Upcast Chef Online. I'm Chef Ken. Today I'm going to do is a pineapple. Sorry, today I'm going to do is a pineapple brownie. So uh, I just for inform for tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow for the Zoom line online, we will start on 4 o'clock, okay? 4 p.m. Okay, in Malaysia time, 4 p.m. Okay? So uh, I'm sorry for the uh, changing, okay? So at here, now we can start for the uh, pineapple first. Okay, on recipe here, we have a pineapple compote, okay? So pineapple compote here, I will start for a pineapple compote first. The ingredient here, just for the fresh pineapple, just chop it, become a chunk on here. Sorry. Okay, first ingredient, glucose, patty and hash, and the sugar. The sugar, I mix with the patty and hash, I'm using for the small part of the sugar. So, we have a second sugar here, okay? This second sugar, the big amount, I mix with the puree. So, for the puree here, we have mango puree, lime puree, and patient food puree. So all of the puree, just put in the saucepan. Patient food puree. So I do it, today I'm doing this piper brownies, it's doing for the cream cheese mousse, and the piper compote, of course, and the big brownies. So lime puree here, Mango puree. Just for the big amount of sugar, mix with the puree. Glue close. I just soft in the microwave. Okay, so on another side, I have an enhanced patin and a small amount of sugar. Just put on the side. Now we need to warm up the puree with the sugar to 45 Celsius. After warm to 45 Celsius, maintain the heat. After that, we can put the batting, we can put the batting and the sugar part by part. Just stir it. Sorry, hold on a second. Huh? Yeah, warm up to 45 Celsius. Then now we can continue. Put the batting and and has sugar uh, and has batting and the sugar mixed together. Uh, guys, how to check for 45 Celsius? Very simple. If you don't have a thermometer, just using your hand, just touch. If you feel the mixture is warm, that's it. When the mixture is warm, then you can start to put the end hatch back in inside. In a very simple way, why we need to put in this temperature, why we need to put on this temperature, because if you go to a very professional way, I just can explain because of the pH. The pH is lower than 3.6. So it's more easy, okay, to react the vaccine. But in for home bigger stuff, 
just around 45 chapters, just put the pattern as a simple way. So after put all the patty inside, you can continue put the pineapple inside. After put the pineapple inside, after put the fresh pineapple inside, then we can blend it to a boiling point. Just boil it, after boil it, just remove from the heat. Uh, how to put the pineapple? Be, uh, no need until soft. Okay, you just buy the uh, you just buy the uh, pineapple. Uh, not raw pineapple is okay already. Okay, just cut the pineapple become chunk and just boiling on it. The pineapple no need cook until it become soft. Okay, for the packing, normally if you realize when we always we put the packing, okay. Batting or stabilizer for ice cream, always uh, we will put on a one temperature. That temperature is 45 Celsius. Okay. Why we need to put on this temperature in this 45 Celsius? Actually, if you want to react your batting and stabilizer, actually they have a certain temperature. That certain temperature normally is go to 45 Celsius to 65 Celsius in this between. Okay. Of course, around 48, 50 Celsius, you still can put the batting inside. Why we need to put on this? certain temperature because at that certain temperature the mixture is warm so in the ph okay the acidity inside the mixture the puree or any water the ph is below 3.6 so below 3.6 you put this acid inside it's more easy for you react the pattern of stabilizer okay that is a professional way what i want to explain uh, if you guys doing for home baker just remember 45 degree until 65 degree you guys just put the pattern that's all okay Most of the patty and stabilizer just put on this temperature. Okay, most all the product in pastry. Okay, after boiling for the fiber compost, remove from the heat. Now I will just align that inside the fiber compost. Remember for your orange, your citrus fruit like orange, mandarin, lime, this type of a thing. If sometimes you guys have an extra in the home, just dash all the dash. After that, keep inside for the freezer. You can keep for half year, doesn't matter. Okay, just keep the dash in frozen. But if you're using for the frozen dash, make sure like example, now I'm using for my lime dash, a fresh lime, I'm using one knot. Okay, one. So if you're using for the frozen desk, you need to use for two because of after your desk be frozen, they will uh, decrease uh, some flavor inside. It's as you need to use. Okay, just mix with the line desk. Now I can put in a mold. 
on here I have a three C on here I have a three CMO, a spear mode. Just get all the fiber compost inside the spear mode. Uh, depend on you guys, okay? Depend on you guys. What mode you want to using is up to you guys. On here, I'm using for the spear mode most. Yes. Uh, yeah. Because this this topic also pipeline pipeline compost. So enhance the flavor also. Uh, but I like to put of course if you want, okay, you want the more stronger lime lime flavor, you can zest your lime, okay, lime zest in the puree for it infused for overnight. Up to you. Okay. Most most of the zest, right? Like all the citrus zest, like orange lime, is a very strong flavor, the aroma from the zest. So I like to keep it in my freezer to do all the product. Uh, and one more and one more thing remember now I'm using this recipe okay I why is the sound sorry huh? it don't work. okay uh, I'm using for the patin on here it's NH patin uh, guys okay it's not yellow patin uh. I don't know in India okay in most in Malaysia you buy in the market the patin normally is yellow patin yellow patin is not reusable Okay, what is meaning not reusable? You just remember a simple thing. Not reusable normally using in jam, patafri. Like patafri is like a soft candy. It's like a candy. Okay, and this not reusable. That means this item cannot be remelt. Okay, but now I using this and this patin is reusable. That means if now I fill my jelly on here, the compote is set. I can put in the microwave, preheat again, and can keep reuse again. Okay, this is called reusable patin. So don't use a yellow patin to cooking this one. Yes. Can you can use a fresh puree? Don't worry. Uh, does this really use precious fruit in food? Yes. Uh, I'm not really suggesting fruit in the seed because on here my my this recipe right uh is pineapple. Both is in pineapple. The patient food is only help you to making some enhance some flavor in the different level. Only. Okay. So if you want to use, I don't like my pipe the seed. The patient food stick inside. Suddenly, eat something very creamy. Suddenly, have a stick inside. You have a chunk. At least some crispy base. I I can accept. It's up to you guys, but I'm not very prefer that. Uh, and sorry, uh, I forgot to tell you guys. On this recipe, I content eggs inside. Uh. So uh, and this recipe is not eggless. Uh. For the eggless recipe or vegan, you can check for our chef, uh, Apka Chef Online. Uh, coming soon, they have more because Chef Angelo is doing quite a lot, quite often in the video now. Okay, they have a lot of the video is still uh, cutting in the process. <clears throat> okay, so just like that. So my pineapple compost just like that. Now we can put inside the blast freezer. I put inside the freezer to let him freeze it. 
of course, for you guys, you guys can keep in your normal freezer for overnight. Okay. So for the next item, I will. So for the next item, I will doing for the brownie. Okay, so on this recipe, we have the whole hazelnut on here, whole hazelnut and walnut here. So, for the whole hazelnut and walnut, you need to toast it, okay? I'll toast until golden brown, okay? So, uh, on here, the walnut, sometimes, I believe sometimes you guys buy the walnut, when you guys after toast it, when you eat, the walnut has a little bit uh, bitter taste, okay? Most is, uh, you need to depend the walnut, which country you come from. Sometimes we get from a China walnut, okay? There's some bitter taste after we eat, okay, after toast. So I will, I teach you how to solve this problem. You can get all the walnut, soak in the water, soak around like 15 minutes to 30 minutes. After soak with the water, just rip, uh, just sift all the water out. After that, just make it dry and you can toast in the oven, bake it, okay, just like that only. So after you soak with the water, the water can reduce some bitter taste because walnut always has this bitter taste. Okay, so my whole hazelnut and the walnut is being toast. So on here, cake flour, dark chocolate here. I prefer you guys using some high percentage dark chocolate. Now I'm using this for Sandogo, around 73%. Okay, of course, you guys can go to uh, 73 65, 60% before uh, above for the chocolate because brownies is very sweet sponge uh, cake actually. Brownies is very sweet because why brownies you can bake like that because it contains a lot of the sugar. So you need to reduce some sweetness. You only can play with, uh, of course you can play with the sugar, but if I use some difficult like Esoma, Treharos, maybe you guys is difficult find in the market, okay? So I prefer you guys, if you want easy to find, just change for the chocolate. Go to change even you want to use for cocoa mask also can up to you okay so whole egg here butter salt and the sugar get for your butter And the dark chocolate, put in the microwave, fully melt it. Fighting mess. Ah, sorry. I saw it. Get for the walnut, just chop a little bit. And for the whole hazelnut also, chop it. So mix both nuts together. So on here, get the dark chocolate. 
and the butter, melt it fully. Fully melting on here. And the second way, all the ingredients, take flour, salt, sugar, whole egg, everything just mix it. Okay, for the dark chocolate and butter also, mix everything. Very simple, huh? just mix everything together. Only. only the nut, only the nut, I will add in last minute. So mix everything in the kitchen aid. Of course, you can use it for your hand to mix it up. Seventy three percent. Sandoko. You can use above sixty percent. Sixty percent dark chocolate, then it's okay already. Okay? So after mix up everything, get for the nut or just mix inside. Okay? Very simple, just like that. Okay, on here, I using for the round mold on here. For this round mold, around 6 cm. So each mold, I will put for around 80 grams. Uh, yes. It's using coconut. The amount for chocolate is the same. No need, just same. You don't worry. Don't worry. Why? Because your cocoa, even if you're using 100% cocoa mass, right? You also have a sugar in the, this recipe. So it also will be sweetened, uh, sweetened. Same like the chocolate. The chocolate, dark chocolate recipe is very simple. Just some lesser tea, cocoa mass, sugar, that's it. Just like that only. So you don't need to change for recipe. Depends. Some people, they don't like to eating too sweet. If now you're using this is a 50% chocolate, I believe this brownie is super sweet. Of course, you don't use compound. If you use compound, you want to understand the compound, it already contains around like 40%, 50% of the sugar inside. So if you put use, using for the chocolate, it's using for compound, that means you add 
extra put in the 40 to 50 percent sugar inside your recipe. Yes, 60 ml. How many grams? 80 grams. 80 grams. I, re I already have baked uh, once yesterday. Today, my dish is uh, Betty Katsu. Uh. It's a fan pastry. Uh. But it's uh, more is in Chinese New Year way because Chinese New Year normally they use a lot of pineapple, mandarin. Okay, something like this flavor. Okay. After done, I'll bake inside for the I'll bake inside the oven with for one hundred seventy Celsius. Okay, with trigger in. After that, bake around for 10 minutes, around 10 minutes to 12 minutes. For the brownies, don't fully baking. If you fully baking, that means when you touch it, it bounces inside. Okay, that means uh, it's overcooked already. When your brownies overcooked, when you eat, it's super hard. Okay, brownies, why brownies when it is uh, uh, very moisture because it contains a lot of sugar inside. Okay, so I repeat one more time. My baking timing is 170 Celsius. After that, I bake for 10 minutes until 12 minutes. Okay, depend your oven. If you feel your oven is too strong, you can decrease until 160 Celsius. Okay, so can you help me bake it? Can we bake in a pan and cut the crackers? Yes, of course, can. Of course, can. Up to you. The mold is depend on you. Okay, so now for the brownies and piper combo done, now I went to cooking for the neutral glaze. I need to cook this neutral glaze because later when I'm glazing, uh, my temperature, I need around like 33 Celsius to 35 Celsius. So neutral glaze. <laughs> Okay, on this recipe, neutral glaze. I also using for the N hash pattern on here. N hash pattern, sugar, water, water, glucose, and citric acid solution. So on here we have a citric acid solution. How I need to making this citric acid solution? Buy the citric acid. After that, use a citric acid and the water, one part, one part. How to make it? What's the meaning? One part, one part. One gram of the citric acid, one ml of the water. Just mix both together. Okay. So this is the recipe on here. Of course, I understand. Sometimes you guys will say, "Chef, it's difficult to find the citric acid." Very simple. On my recipe, okay, imagine my recipe, I need to use two grams of the citric acid. You guys can change to lemon lime juice, okay? You can change to lime juice or lemon juice up to you, okay? But when you change to lime juice, imagine one gram I use for lime juice or lemon juice, I need to use for 1.5 gram, okay? That means times 1.5, okay? Repeat one more time. If no citric acid solution, you guys can use for one gram of a citric acid solution, use 1.5 gram of the lemon juice or lime juice. So here, and hash back in, I'll make some sugar inside. Get for the water first. Water, sugar, Citric acid solution. If no citric acid solution, just use for the lime juice. 
for the glucose, I just microwave for a while. So remember what I told you, if you have a bad heat and a sugar, make sure you guys put on 45 to 65 degrees. So now I need to warm up this mixture, the sugar syrup on here to 45 degrees. So warm up, I just touched for the pot. I feel some warm temperature in here. Okay, now I can continue to put my batting and the sugar together, part by part. Yes, thunder drop with the pipette. It's just around like two grams. I'm sorry because sometimes the recipe is too small amount. It's difficult for using by the, the gram. So if you guys are using this, you need to use it for the micro scale. After make sure all the patty and the sugar together, just bring up to boiling point, that's it. Just then boiling. After after boiling, remove from the heat. Then just get the stiff, stiff form or the neutral glaze. So after stiff on here, I will put some gold dust inside. Depend on you guys, huh? you don't put also can because expensive thing. Just put some gold dust. And just a little bit of the golden yellow. 
two drop and two drop of the lemon yellow. Just mix well this neutral glaze because later we are using for glazing. Okay, just like that. Just keep on the side, then cool down. Okay. So, in the next recipe for the, now we are doing for the mousse, okay, for the pineapple mousse. So pineapple mousse, I need to use it for the pastry cream. Just do a simple recipe of the pastry cream. Uh, for this recipe for the pastry cream, You can use any recipe for pastry cream also can, up to you, don't worry. Milk, egg yolk, butter, custard powder, walina essence, sugar, and some salt. Get for the milk, put in the saucepan. Egg yolk. Uh, oh, yes, sorry, I, I think I only post the pastry cream only, right? It's okay, later I will post the pastry cream and it time around for you, okay? Because this is a very simple recipe. You guys just wash it, later I will give you guys that recipe, okay? I think I still have one more iski time around. Sorry, uh, guys. So, first thing, very simple. If you have your own recipe for pastry cream, you also can use it because it's the same. Most in the world, all pastry cream and iski time around, all is, all is a similar same one, it won't, won't be like, Another is more special, special one. Okay, but later I will post the recipe for you guys. Okay, so on here I have a milk, egg yolk, and the custard powder mixed with the egg yolk. Half of the sugar, half of the egg yolk, half on the milk. Salt you can put for every salt put in the saucepan and walina essence. For the butter, later. So now we need to boil the milk first. Boil the milk after that for the egg yolk. Make sure here, make sure with the custard powder. The recipe amount too small, that's why I need to do that. If you guys doing a big recipe, the big amount recipe, you don't have this problem. Because this one, I don't want to waste too much. Hmm? Yes, uh, in the basic or after chef online. Because uh, most in the recipe in like Itai meringue, uh, pastry cream, most is a very basic item. So normally the chef, they just put cream patisserie or Italian meringue only. 
if you go to the another class of the doesn't matter i will show you i will post i will, i'm sorry i will post you guys let you guys know it but you guys can check in for this video first okay so after your milk is boiling get your milk mix well with the egg yolk Then get your milk, get your egg mixture, mix back with the whole egg. Mix well everything. After that, use for the medium heat, let him boiling. Okay, hold on a second. So normally, if you want to shell life on the pastry cream in the chiller or the fridge, normally four day, four day, then it will start getting changing. Okay. So if you want to shell life, uh, I I believe uh, if you want a nice texture of the pastry cream, I not really uh, suggest you guys keep inside for the freezer. But normally, if I doing in a hotel, I also keep in the freezer. I can keep for one month. Okay. But the texture won't be so good. Okay. I prefer you guys making for the fresh around like for, can we keep in the chiller for four days. Of course, if you have a rare extra of the cream pastry, you want to keep in the uh, freezer, no problem. You can keep for one month. So after boiling, you can see the cream pastry is fully thick. Just stir a little bit. Okay. Stop the heat and get for the butter, put inside. Mix well with the butter. Some chefs, they're doing for the cream patisserie, they like to put the butter when the milk is boiling. They will melt the butter with the milk together. Some chefs, they like to put extra. They think after everything done, they put the butter in the last minute. For me, for, uh, for me it's the same item. Okay, there won't be effect a big, uh, big texture. It will be a different texture. Okay, after you get your cream patisserie, you need to reseal the cream patisserie on your recipe. You check for the recipe, they have a cream patisserie there, okay? The pastry cream, the amount, you need to seal back the actual same uh, gram. Oh, seal, 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 okay? So, in the next, now we can doing for, in the next, now we can doing for the cream cheese now. So on the recipe, they have the few items on here. Okay, first thing you can see the pineapple puree, gelatin, blown with the gelatin, blown with the uh, water, cream cheese. Okay, for the cream cheese on here. And for the whipping cream. Huh? This is a pineapple mousse. This is a pineapple mousse. It's follow the recipe inside. Okay. So first thing, get the pineapple puree first. We need to drink for the reduction. If in the recipe they have writing is 40 grams. Okay, in the recipe 40 grams, that means when you're stewing for the pineapple, you need to when it's doing for the pineapple puree, you need to steal for double 80 grams. After, I need to do for a reduction, reduct until 40 grams. 
<coughs> so on here I have 80 gram of the pineapple puree. Okay, so put in the saucepan first. Use for the medium heat to reduct until 40 grams. Okay, gelatin uh, on here my recipe, I, all our Akka, all our Akka chefs online, our gelatin is using gold gelatin. That means uh, I'm using 200 bloom. Okay, so one gram of the gelatin powder, you want to soak with the water times five or six. Okay, so that means one gram gelatin powder times five ml to six ml water. Okay. Sorry? Yeah, for the strong flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, can you that which other fruit is the final fruit? If for this, I will prefer it on you. Why I need uh why I need to put the cream cheese mousse with the brownies because cream cheese and the brownies is a mesh. So it depends on you guys. For this recipe, you can go to mandarin, okay, something of citrus. Because if you see my recipe, all is a citrus. You can go to mango, okay, you can go to passion fruit. You can go to uh, something secret, but I wouldn't use this recipe in berry. Uh, gelatin free recipe. I'm sorry, you need to refer back the in Upcashes online. I'm not the expert in the gelatin free, the vegan part. So maybe you ask Angelo is the best question. <laughs> okay, I'm not. I'm not the expert vegan chef on here. Yeah, later I will heat it. Just bloom the gelatin powder and the cold water together. That's it. Then before you use it, I will heat it. So I will check back. Just now I still 80 grams. Need to check until 40 grams. Okay. 40 grams on here. So now uh, I'm using for the rubber cup. On, on this recipe, they have a whipping cream. So this whipping cream, I will keep in the chiller first before I whip up. I need to maintain the cream is fresh. Uh, guys, on here. So guys, on here I'm using for the fruit processor. Of course, if at home you don't have fruit processor, you can use your hand blender also can. If really even hand blender you also don't have, you use the mixing bowl, okay? Just I use the paddle and just beat the cream cheese until soft, okay? But that will take quite long time, around 20 minutes to half hour to let the cream cheese extra smooth. I want the texture very, very smooth texture. So I prefer you guys using the fruit processor. Of course, you fruit processor, you blend something like a nut also, you can use it. So get the cream cheese, put in the fruit processor, The sorry, yeah, sorry, just wow. Well, uh, cream cheese inside for the pineapple puree reduction inside. Let me blend everything with this one later. I answer your question, huh? Okay, for the pineapple puree inside. After that, uh, sorry, Edison, this is the still one. Uh, 
So remember just now we have a cream patisserie. I need the cream patisserie, it's a warm temperature, doesn't matter. If you, after you cook the cream patisserie, you feel uh, it's already in the chiller, you can put in the microwave to warm up, okay? So a warm cream patisserie on here, so more easy to mix with everything. And for, and for the gelatin, I melt inside the microwave. <clears throat> so gelatin has been melt in the fruit processor everything let's use the fruit processor blend everything together Until no any lump inside, until the mixture is fully smooth. Actually, all of the cheesecake, you can just do it this way. It's more faster than you using a mixing bowl. Okay, just like that. You can see it's smooth on here. Okay. So uh, I'm sorry, what, what's the question just now? Okay. No, add back the puree. Add back the puree. If you want the strong flavor of the your puree, the fruit, then you need to add back the puree to bring out again. Okay, you do add back the water. You add back the water later. Your mousse don't have any flavor. Yes, as lime zest. Don't worry. The lime zest after this, then I will put the lime zest inside. No, warm mean above 35 to 45. Not until the thing is come up just okay. Warm, that's why normally I use warm temperature is 35 to 45 degrees. That's why when you touch it, you can hold, holding the warm item, but it's not super hot, you cannot to touch it that. I will let, later I will, when I'm folding the mousse, I will let you guys know why I need to maintain the warm temperature on here. Because normally we are doing all the mousse, I have Different item, different ingredient inside, different fat inside. You need a different temperature to fold. If not, later everything will set together. Okay, so as here, you have a smooth cream cheese mousse on here, the pedal. Get for the lime zest now, that's it. Make sure your lime has been washed and dry. Huh? Wash already, use the tissue, dry it. Of course, can. <laughs> I have, because if I blend with the lime zest, right, sometimes the zest is stuck on the plate there. So I like to put in the last minute. If you're using for the frozen there, then you just estimate two knot of this, okay? I believe you guys always eating the citrus fruit, right? Won't be used for the skin. The skin, you can do a lot of pastry.
So now everything makes sure on here. I have a whipping cream on here. So I need to whip up the whipping cream with a soft thick texture. So get for the whipping cream. And then I can be sure that you will. Okay, on here, a soft thick cream. This soft thick is okay because your cream cheese smooth, a lot of fat content. If you're using the medium thick or half thick, when you fold, the thing come out is more thick. It's difficult, you feel inside the mold. Okay, soft thick, soft thick of the cream. I just keep back to the chiller to let him maintain. Then now in the next, I'm doing for the Italian meringue. So, it's time around here. It's time around recipe. I also will send you guys, send to you guys with the cream patisserie. Get for the water, sugar, put in the saucepan, get for the egg white, put in the mixing bowl. Now, boil the sugar syrup on the Italian meringue here. Boil to 118. So, 118 Celsius, 120 Celsius. In the big screen, you can use for egg white with the whisk, whisk up in the machine. Yes. Can you please tell them how to convert gelatin powder to cheap gelatin? Gelatin powder. Okay, very simple. If now you're using for the gelatin powder or gelatin sheet, right? If now my gelatin powder, I'm using one gram. Okay? First thing you want to know your gelatin is which level first. Gelatin has four level. If you go to the sheet, the thin gelatin sheet, they have to go to bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. So you want to understand which level you buy, okay? If now you go to gelatin powder, they have a different bloom, okay? Now we're using is for this, 200 bloom. So 200 bloom, maintain to 225 bloom is gold. So if now I buy a gold, uh, gold let, um, I buy the gold, gold color, sorry, not gold color, 
gold gelatin sheet. If not, I buy a gold gelatin sheet and I use a gelatin powder 200 bloom. Okay, it's the same. So now I use one gram of the gelatin powder and I use one gram of the gold gelatin sheet. You just peel back one gram, one gram. That's it. Okay, so for you guys, easy for you guys. Now, all recipe we're using for the gold. That means 200 bloom, that means if you com compare to the gelatin sheet, it's a gold, gold level. Okay, so now you just buy the gold, simple for you. If you want to go into like a uh, more difficult, right? There's a lot of formula. I won't think you just want to listen to that formula also. Okay, it's very a lot of cal calculation at the end. Okay, after 117. After 118, sorry, after 118, go inside the uh, egg white, we up to the half cake. Yes. Agar agar and stand a gelatin totally is not same item. Yeah. If you want to use agar agar right, then you need to refer back for the vegan vegan recipe. Uh -huh. Of course, you want to understand if now I using for this mousse, I have a lot of cream cheese inside, a lot of fat, he can hold in. So you put some agar agar inside, it still can hold in the shape. Okay? But sometimes you put a lot like a time meringue, a water based item. So if you do drink from that, when you defrost your cake, they will collapse. Yes. You guys better struggle to buy the gold sheet. It's not difficult to get. Even in India, also not difficult to get the gold color gelatin powder. Uh, I teach a lot in India also. Okay, so on here, when we whip up the meringue on here, so check back for the cream cheese mousse, the base. So now the base is around 25 Celsius. So I need to warm up a little bit. I will put inside for the microwave, warm up to around 35 Celsius, okay? So I will fold this everything in a warm temperature, around 35 to 40 Celsius, okay? Why I need to warm up like that, right? Why I need to warm up the thing like that, very simple, because you want to understand. Now my base mold, you can see in this recipe, 30% is a cream cheese. Cream cheese is very high fat content, high fat content item. If you fold in around like 30 Celsius, 31 Celsius, you just fold something with a very chill item, like, sorry, huh? You just fold something with a whipping cream. The whipping cream is uh, in the chiller. The temperature very low. Just fold together to think you become thick and the gelatin is direct to set. So normally I doing some this high fat content item, I will fold when I folding the temperature a little bit higher. Okay, just like that. Now I need to seal back for the entire meringue. How much? So on here, I have an Italian meringue and my cheese mixture. And one more thing, the whipping cream. Uh, Italian meringue don't have soft, medium, hard. Only have one on it, hard pig on it, Italian meringue. Uh, because Italian meringue, 
most of the egg is almost cooked already, so it only has one pig. If you go to French meringue or Swiss meringue, they have a soft medium part. But if you go to Italian meringue, only has one texture on it. Okay, so on here, cream cheese base, I can fold with my fold with my whipping cream first. The meringue, I still maintain the warm temperature. Okay, so you can see my meringue is still warm. Okay, it's around 35 to 40. No need to cool down the uh, Italian meringue. So fold with the cheese header with the whipping cream. You can see after 35 hours after a full ride, it starts going to stick. Imagine if your whipping Italian meringue is more chill temperature, uh, chiller temperature, then when it fold, it's more thick, it set more faster. So put your Italian meringue. Fold everything. So you can check for the texture here. This texture is like a little bit liquid, but not too liquid, not like a water, okay? It's still like a cream on glaze, the texture, okay? Just like that. Always I doing my most, I like my texture after fold is like this texture. So now we can start for doing the top part. So just like that, put in the spear mold. On this spear mold, it's actually same with the, just now the bottom, the brown is also 6 cm on here. This is a half spear. Okay, the mousse, after that, we need to prepare for our pineapple compote, just now I put in the freezer. Yeah. So this is yesterday what I do. After after I move from a piper compot from a mold, just press inside. So just like that, keep in the freezer. Just like that, keep inside the freezer. Then freeze. Okay. So for the brownies after bake, on here, uh, this one is still a little bit warmer. So you need to keep inside for a freezer. I cannot ammonia now. If I ammonia everything, you crush it because the brownies inside is still soft. So I have prepared for yesterday for a freeze one. This is yesterday I prepared. So after brownies come out, you can put inside for the freezer. Just let it freeze. Then after that, ammo. After ammo, they'll come out like that. Okay? So I will trim a little bit on the top.
after stream, you can check for this. So you can see on the center have a little bit like uncooked for the brownies is like that because it contact a lot of sugar. It's not uncooked, uh, it's cooked actually. Okay, <laughs> you don't work, you don't know uh, why the chef is cooking uncooked. Uh. The thing is cooked, but will be like that because a lot of content sugar inside. Yes, 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 yes. Um, also Sorry? Uh, I'm not very prefer for the sweet. Of course, you can do a sweet meringue. Of course, you can use it for the sweet meringue. Okay, but this item is a mousse. So you need to keep in a, for actually, if I bring this one right, for shell life, if compact Italian meringue and Swiss meringue, I like to use Italian meringue in my shell life. Uh, keep more longer. If you're using Swiss meringue, no problem. Of course, you can use it. Okay. Uh, the will not eat I didn't warm up the whipping cream. Well, I mean, huh? the, uh, cream ah, don't worry. My cream is 35 degrees to 45 degrees. Okay, not until 60 degrees. If you realize, you can check back for a chef for life, uh, Apka chef for life, most of the high content fat, example, cream cheese, dark chocolate mousse. Okay, when, uh, when the content dark chocolate mousse a lot right, the content fat a lot right, the chef always they're using a quite high temperature to begin, uh, to fold. Okay, because you imagine the thing is around like 35 to 40, but your cream is around two to three Celsius in the chiller. So when you mix both together right, the temperature is just around 20 Celsius to 21 Celsius. You won't go to like 60 Celsius, 70 Celsius. So actually the texture come up, you can check for this texture, you won't be spread. Okay? Um, for the meringue, okay. Why? Why I need to choose the meringue part? Hold on a second, huh? I put this. I clear this first. Okay. Depend of the all the chef, you need to bring up the mousse. Example. Now I have a cream cheese. It's very heavy item. It's very heavy flavor aroma. Then after that, then you put a sabayon inside. Sabayon, what is sabayon? Sabayon mousse is the fat. So you put fat and fat inside. So when eat, and the whipping cream also is a uh, butter inside. Okay, inside also contain milk solid. So you put these three items inside. When eat, you feel very heavy, the mousse. Okay, you feel like you're eating the butter. So I put the Italian meringue. It's balanced fat. Don't let the mousse when you're eating. It's very heavy. You can imagine uh, now my brownies contain a lot of fat content. You put your cream cheese, a lot of fat content. And you put the sabayon, you replace the sabayon, also fat content. If you put all, all, all this fat inside when you eat, it's very heavy taste. But if you want to balance fat, I put the Italian meringue inside. Okay? <clears throat> what? Ah, freeze the mousse, freeze the mousse. Hmm? Don't need just press on the top. Just touch on the center. I just show you like that. If you check for the brownies, you always can see the brownies, the top should be have a skin, like a crispy skin. Why have contact a crispy skin on top? Because they contact a lot of sugar. That's why they have crispy skin. When you press it, okay? When you press it, a little bit bounce inside. You see a fingerprint like this? Doesn't matter, like this is cooked already. Okay, if you bake until like a normal sponge, for the brownies, you bake until like a normal sponge, you touch it, you bounce that, they think that it's overcooked. But I think that brownies is very dry. Okay, normally I will bake, I will just touch it, I feel a little bit solid inside, that's it. Okay. Okay, on here, milk chocolate, this is gourmet glaze, milk chocolate and oil, make sure inside, put in the microwave, melt it. So here I have some nuts, 
the almond nib already been sold. Okay, just now I only need to dip the brownies with the gourmet glaze. Sometimes the brownies don't have skin, that's mean your recipe, you want to check for a recipe already. Most of the brownies, why they have skin? Because there are a lot of sugar inside. If you check my recipe, they have a lot of sugar. Uh, only, only two ways. The first thing, the first thing, uh, if you cannot get a consistent skin, either it's your oven, when you're baking, no consistency. Second, it's your recipe. That means the sugar very less. Your sugar very less, that means your brownies become like a sponge, a normal sponge already, okay? Because if this brownies actually is a, the story in the brownies is a how white, actually you need to make it for the chocolate sponge. When they're making for the chocolate sponge, accidentally put too much sugar inside that recipe already. So after they come out, it, the skin is crispy and inside has some moisture, uh, like very chewy. So that is a story for the brownies. So, melt everything for your milk chocolate and the uh, grape seed oil. Get all your nuts mixed inside. Now we can start for dipping for the brownie. Get for, the, get for the BBQ stick, just dip the brownies. Make sure the brownies is frozen. Put in a gourmet glaze, just like that. So, okay, so done for dipping, you can see half of here is the gourmet glaze for the brownies. Edison, can you help me? Go get the mousse cup, thank you. So, almost, almost finished, don't worry. Prepare the neutral place just now, we hope. in the freezer first, thank you. Okay, so have a, here have a neutral place. Using for the temperature around 35, to 45, don't worry. Make sure your cake is enough frozen. So this yesterday I already been do for the mousse, already be frozen. This ammo.
Okay. After I move it, then we can, now we can using for the glaze. So just get glaze with the neutral glaze. Remove after glaze, clean the neutral glaze on here, on the center. Oh, of course, I forgot the one thing. Designated coconut, some um, decoration on the side. So on here, I have uh, some decoration, uh, designated coconut. Up to you guys uh, for the design. Yes. This is. Oh, okay. First thing, why we need to use using for the grapeseed oil? Most in the recipe, always we are choosing using the, for the grapeseed oil. Very simple because grapeseed oil don't have any flavor, don't have any aroma inside. If you want to use for the peanut oil, corn oil, that will. I won't think you guys like to eat it. When you eat your chocolate, inside have a peanut taste or the corn taste or olive oil taste. Okay? If you want to use a vegetable oil without any taste, a grapeseed oil is the best, cho uh, best choice for you. Okay? If you want to use for the peanut oil, after you eat, you feel very heavy for the peanut taste on there. So we need to make sure that the brown is cooked. Yes, with dipping. Of course, you can see now I, what I'm doing is a lot for job. Of course, if you're at home, you're doing, you can keep the job of that. Which one you feel you just for your home doing, then you can skip it. Of course, when I sell you this program, I need to make it nicer before for you guys. Okay. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. uh, Don't worry. Most of the most of the cake we don't have this problem. Sorry? The glaze color is transparent. Yes, the base color is transparent. The color is come from a gold color for the gold powder and the and the uh the coloring powder. Because your base your base is already has a color. What is the temperature for the chlorine? Thirty-five to forty-five degrees. But of course. This temperature is giving you a guideline, okay? The temperature is giving you guys a guideline. You guys need to check for your cake is how frozen. You don't give your cake is just like zero Celsius. You go to glaze for 35 degrees, your glaze, your mousse must be uh, dissolved. Can the glaze be frozen before? Ah, the cake be frozen? Can the glaze be frozen? Oh, the glaze. Yes, yes, yes. Ten. How long can we keep the natural glaze? 
the natural glaze, if you keep in a chiller only, uh, if you don't keep, of course, it depends depend on you. Uh, you don't keep touching the glaze. Uh, if normally you keep nicer, okay, you can keep for one month in a chiller because only contains sugar. Sugar is, uh, you, the shot life can be quite longer. Yes, of course. Uh, that color is just now I use for the... That color I put more stronger for the yellow color. That's why. It's, I just make in morning only. You can adjust your color. Chocolate apple. The color you can adjust yourself because I forgot just now what how much color I put already. You can add just like I put two drops, right? You can make it to four drops to six drops. Okay, the glaze won't hold on the mousse. Okay, first reason your mousse contact a lot of ice froze. That means you guys, where yeah, I just put it here. So first problem, if your glaze wouldn't stick with your mousse, right? Okay. You're using your among the mousse. After you among the mousse, you keep in the freezer. You didn't keep properly with the plastic wrap. You just put inside the freezer and the mousse on the content, there's a lot of ice froze. That means the ice, what is ice froze? Water, all right? When you glaze it, okay? The glaze is warm. They will melt the ice froze, but they will, uh, I think it's peel off together. That means he cannot contact the mousse. So that means when you guys mold the mousse, make sure you guys keep nicer. Okay, wrap with the plastic wrap, keep nicer inside the freezer. Always have this happen. Okay. Second, something you use, uh, something you use, the mascarpone yogurt. Okay, this is kind of the high content of the fat. Okay, because the mousse, a lot of water. Example, now I'm doing for the uh, mousse, I contact a lot of the water content. So when I'm using that one, also it's difficult to stick because you need to depend. If now my, I'm using this neutral glaze, don't have the problem. If I'm using for the chocolate glaze, your mousse is water-based, a lot of water content. So you're using for the chocolate, it's difficult to stick with your yogurt mousse or mascarpone. Okay, so it needs to depend what most you're using. Most of the neutral glaze, they don't have this problem if you're using for a neutral glaze, okay? If you're using for a chocolate glaze, sometimes you have this problem, okay? So today, just like that, you can, if you want, I can cut half for you to check the filling inside. So the feeling will be like that. Okay, actually it's quite simple item. Huh? It's very simple layering only. Only when I'm doing it's more job for here. Okay, you can cut some job like neutral glaze. You don't need to put up to you. Okay. Or dipping the gourmet glaze. Okay, so. If you want to finish product, I can without glaze. Let's say I can make with a gourmet glaze and a mousse, just keep inside for a freezer. When you want to use, you can glaze it uh, last minute. Okay, like this, all these items I can keep inside for the freezer for one month, for the trash freezer for one month. Okay, if now I'm doing everything like that already, you only can keep inside for the chiller for four days. So just like that.